Hey guys, what's going on? This is Drive Forward. Uh, remember, you can speed up, you can slow down, but always drive forward. So today my video is going to be comparing two watches that are very similar. They're both at two different price points, but um, some people can afford one watch, maybe can't afford the other, or maybe you could afford both and you just want two similar watches. So I'm going to show you two of these watches that I have here and uh, one of them you might have saw in one of my past videos and this it's this one here and it is a uh, show it to you first it is my Seiko 5 and this is the the Hulk and some people call it the 5kx um, really my favorite watch as of late I wear it every weekend. I don't wear it at work because I don't want to ruin it. But uh, really my favorite watch. And uh, just love the band on it. I like that the band really doesn't taper down. Kind of stays the same size all the way through. And uh, I have bigger wrists. I have almost the 8 inch wrists. So I do like that. The band doesn't taper down as much and stuff like that. As you can see, it has a beautiful automatic movement, nice and steady. And we all know the quality of Seiko, and uh, we know the heritage. A lot of people say that um, Seiko's prices have been going up. I still find that they are a value because um, when you buy a Seiko and you have it on wrist, you feel like you've bought something that's going to last you a lifetime. So, guys, if uh, you like Seiko... This Seiko 5, uh, what people call the 5KX, really nice watch to pick up. And it's in a lot of different colorways, a lot of different dials. It's a great pickup. So I found a watch that's comparable to this. Obviously, this watch here doesn't have the heritage that this Seiko does. But like I said, for the price, it's an option for somebody that can't afford to come up with 200 250 dollars for one of these seiko fives because depending on the colorway also the prices go up a little bit and sometimes down depending if the colorway isn't as desirable so guys i'm going to show you this watch i'm going to put my five back over here in this box and obviously this is the seiko box i didn't want to go around and dig around for it so I just put it here so the watch that i'm talking about is this one right here it's a Cadison, and let's see the watch. And this watch here, sorry guys, pulling it out of the box. As you can see, it has all these manuals, Cadison manual, a little cleaning cloth. And there it is right there. This is the Cadison, and uh, very similar to my Seiko. Um, it is smaller in diameter. Seems like it's a 38 millimeter. See how big my Seiko is compared to it side by side. And uh, obviously this one's not for me because like I said, I have a bigger wrist. But it's for my son. And my son already loves this watch. And we just literally got it today. And uh, he's going to keep it. And uh, really nice watch. Like I said, this one's 60 bucks. This one I paid I think like two forty four, so you could probably you could get how many of these? Uh, yeah, you could get four of these in different colorways for the same price as this. And uh, this one is also NH thirty five, as you can see it moving along there. A um, couple differences are this does not have a display back; it's just uh, screwed in back, which is not a big deal. But uh, it's a really nice watch, really surprised me. Obviously, this watch doesn't have the history of a Seiko, but it's not pretending to have the history, and that's why it's at $60. Um, the Jubilee bracelet is not the greatest, but I think it looks pretty good. I think my son will like it just because it's a Jubilee, and Jubilees tend to be a little bit more comfortable my opinion for me they're more comfortable for me some people might say 
uh, one of the other bracelets is more comfortable. I think Jubilee is more comfortable on my wrist. But uh, just look at the watch. And he wanted the same colorway as mine. And uh, the colors are are a little different. But um, I think they measure up really well. It's like, like I said, there's a distinction in the size and stuff. But let's listen to the ratcheting on the on the caddis in here. I mean, it does have a little bit of playback. Nothing too crazy. But um, if you know Seiko, Seiko's bezels tend to have a little playback also. The ratcheting is really decent. I do not mind it. So, like I said, for a $60 watch, see if it lines up. Did I, oh, I, I, I overshot uh, 12 o'clock there a little bit. But um, there we go. And I'm a little off anyway. One more. There we go. So it does line up pretty well. Uh, don't mind the watch at all. Like I said, sixty bucks. You know, you might be able to get um one of their deals where you can get it for cheaper. Let's do the ratcheting on the Seiko Five and see how much of a difference. So here's the Seiko Five. And um, this one's going to be a little bit of a crazy take. But I honestly think that the Caddison's ratcheting sounds a little more crisper than the Seiko's. And uh, like I said, this is my watch, so I'm not being biased towards my Seiko. The Caddison actually sounds a lot crisper when you turn in the bezel. Like I said, it does have a little bit of playback on the Caddison. But Seiko sometimes do have it. This one has... Uh, it's pretty sturdy, but like I said, the ratcheting on the Caddison sounds better. And uh, I do like the Caddison, but for me, the sizing is way too small. But if you have a smaller wrist, I think it's the perfect watch for somebody. And uh, my son, he's only 14 years old, so it's going to fit perfectly on his wrist. As um, soon as I get off this video, I'm going to start uh, removing some links for him. And get him going with it because he's excited to wear it, wants to use it for school and stuff. So we're going to get that going. And uh, he also has a couple of Seikos. And uh, like I said, I don't have tons of money to buy watches. I did buy him, a, order him a Seiko also. But then uh, I, when I he bought the Seiko, when we bought the Seiko, I told him, oh, I ordered you a Caddison. It's either one or the other. He said, okay, so we'll return to Caddison when he gets here. And uh, once he saw it, he's like, he's keeping the Caddis. And I'm like, well, you're not keeping the Seiko also. We're going to have to return it because I can't pay the money on both. And he's like, yep, so we're returning the, the Seiko. So, and it hasn't even got here. So as soon as he get the Seiko gets here, it's pretty much going to be returned. And that says big about him because he's usually a, a Seiko type kid. He, he loves the Seikos. But this Caddis and won him over. Which makes me happy. It makes me uh, saves me a few dollars, and it shows me that my son is in a watch snob. Because um, I was beginning to think that I was raising a little watch snob of watches, but he appreciated this watch, and that makes me happy. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to make that comparison, show you guys um, you can get something similar for the price. So if you can't afford, uh, or even if you can't afford, you just can't buy a Seiko at this time. You have to save up a little longer. But you want to look for a while till you save up. You can get yourself a Caddison like this, sixty dollars. Wear it a few months, five six months. Save up the money, and then when you save up the money, you sell this watch for a few dollars, get some of your money back, and then you pop out and get yourself your Seiko. So guys, this is drive forward. I appreciate all the subscribers. I appreciate you guys tuning in to my video, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.